We are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Before we introduce the game, before we get on with this new Tuesday night stream, let's just take a look at this home screen. Obviously, the game we're playing now has a devolved post-apocalyptic world thing going on with a virus. Uh, but this looks so like the back garden scenes from The Last of Us Part 1. I think it's Lincoln City um, when they're coming through trying to find the parts for the the car. Doesn't it look like that scene as they hop over the fence and there's clickers wandering around? Either that or it's the uh, the overgrown back garden of uh, Walter White and the Breaking Bad. But that looks good. Okay, yes, a, a new game on this proposed regular slot of a Tuesday evening in the UK, afternoon in uh, parts of the US, morning in others. Um, this is The Walking Dead, the definitive edition. Now, um, hello Michaela. Well, Michaela H, this is her fault. She attended one of a, a strip, my kickback stream on a Friday night and she suggested what about doing a story driven sort of interactive game and I said I've not really played any of those tell me more and we had a big conversation about what uh, what the type of games it was and what it might entail um, and I realized after the stream I have played one Detroit Become Human and, and I loved that I love that. I think it's probably settled that this is going to be different in gameplay and things like that, and obviously story. But it's going to be, I think it's going to be along those vibes with, am I right in saying there's quick time events and there's story um, dialogue choices? Is that is that how it works? Um, because if it is, I'm game. So it's obviously a fairly long running theme uh, game this with multiple parts over the years brought into this one game. But we're going to attack chapter one episode one and get amongst that straight away so yeah Michaela H is one of my uh, one of our patrons um, and she's been a patron for a, a long time at the chat the channel um, so patrons get to vote for what to watch in these streams um, sem semi regularly and there's been a few votes of late we're doing God of War on a Monday we're doing this on a Tuesday night once um, the Assassin's Creed Black Flag catches up. We'll do that stream on a Wednesday. And on a Friday night, um, I'm doing something called a kickback stream where we just do um, a, a game and we, we shoot the shit and talk about anything. But the these games are story-driven dri games. We want to stay in that mode, stay in the world, and be as focused as, as we can. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're not been to the channel before and you're finding this ram randomly my name is the patient wolf and i'm a video game storyteller i have my uh parents channel the patient wolf where i do law videos story videos and other types of things as well um i've just recently finished my assassin's creed 3 video which is doing very well and i'm currently working and scripting my video for uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag so you can find that there and patrons get early access to that by a week or two or more um, as a way of thanking you for supporting me and my journey of becoming a full-time content creator it's getting there it is getting there the revenues ticking up patrons are ticking up and it's looking like a possibility hello everyone who's joined the stream M Michaela Sidreve, Kevin, Harry, and Eric, another patron. How is it going? You never got far in this game, looking forward to watching. So let us start now. So plug in, zone out of the world, and join me as we discover, I will discover, or you rediscover the world of The Walking Dead. Right, as if with any good story, let's start at the beginning. Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Episode 1 of The Walking Dead. Lee and Clementine. Uh, 
Okay. Help and options. Controls and settings. Let's just go with the tutorial because there's bound to be one. We've got a another sort of suburban scene, which is which is more sort of r rural and arable now. There's a there's a barn in the background. The grasses are overgrown. Some of the shutters have fallen off the windows. It's a devolved world indeed. Okay, choose a display style. Standard, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal turn off UI hints, help and choice notification. Well, as I'm unfamiliar with these games, looks like actually, yeah, you, you, you go towards certain aspects of the screen and, and, and look around and investigate. So yeah, let's get as much UI as we can to start with. We can always turn it off. Episode one, a new day. Looks like they're in a, a drugstore, finding what they need to survive, maybe. Walking Dead. A new day. Camera on the piss, denoting some things. The world is not all at rest with itself. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You have a limited amount of time to make a choice. Well, that's quite a healthy countdown. Does it really matter? You know what they say about reckoning. Why do you say that? Oh, it's coming over from the middle as well. All right. Why did you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Silence is a valid option. Every time? Not for me. And um, what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> is he winding him up? Use the right stick to take a look around. So we've got the radio, we've got the shotgun. Now aim the target to the rear view mirror. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. So what do you think? Let's talk let's let's just you're from making then. Yeah. Pushing back the question. Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame that is. Hell whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. He's not thinking of escaping here. He's looking you up at UGA. You pretty disappointed with himself. Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? So it's something to do with his wife. Did he did he kill his wife? Sure. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Right, you could get angry. Could be sassy. Could just go along with it. We're going along with it at the moment. <sighs> okay, this guy is. He's not trying to wind us up. He looks like a genuine sort. And we, yeah, you know, we're not thinking about escaping at all. 
we're pretty pissed off with ourselves, looks like. Okay, what have we got here? Man this man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for he's coming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So he did do it. Maybe he was innocent. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh my this words. Oh my Jesus. We're not hearing that story now. <laughs> that was a zombie in the road. Oh my shizer. Right, we've got a shotgun. That's got to be what we're going for now. Come on, Lee. Uh, oh, shit. Thirsty. Oh, he's still got, he's still got uh, shackles on. Thirsty? Fuck. My leg. What's, he, what's happened to him? Has he got a protruding break in his leg or something? That would be... Oh, my God. The, the cop's gone. It's hard, quite hard to get... Hey! Round hey, there. officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. What do you mean he wasn't ejected from the car? So he's just woken up and he's... Has he been pulled from the car? Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh man, he's, he's he got got. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. I don't know how long we have been asleep. Or unconscious. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Okay, well that makes sense. Well, let's look for a way out then, had we? Okay. Well, he was talking about kicking and kicking the car. I don't know if we remember that, because it's obvious what we should do now. But we need to kick this window out and get out. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay, let's just check if there's anything else. Oh! Damn it. Damn it. Well, we know what to do. We need to drag I ourselves out. To Drag myself out that window. Well, how'd you do that? Now move it toward the window using the left stick. Oh, I see. Read, Wolf. Read. There's definitely a silhouette of a zombie on the horizon there through the window, wasn't there? Right, use left stick to move along the car. Right, that, oh, there's a bullet on the floor, is that right? Definitely a bullet, we're going to grab that straight away. Okay, we're going to 
grab the shotgun for sure. Michaela, you mentioned subtitles. Are you not seeing the subtitles or you don't want subtitles? Because I think I need them. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. I would suggest you just do everything you can to load that. Officer? And just use your cuffed hands. And bring that gun over with you, but... Okay, we're out. Oh no, we dropped it. Right, other one. Right, we are free. Oh, oh the man's turning. <laughs> I think I'm going back towards the towards the shotgun. Get away from me. Oh Come my on. word, you dirty, dirty game. Don't make me do this. stand up in court will it if this is an isolated situation what the hell so was this girl called Caroline because she has just arrived in a ray of light on the horizon does that mean we're going to be making a journey with the, the ghost have I just called the six cents early here we will see the skin's all rotten and he smells like shit what the hell is this help go get someone there, there's been a shooting or maybe it's a, just a girl he meets here Goodness, there's more. Thank goodness, this is a cut scene. Stroke of luck. Gunshot has brought them away from from the scene. Hello, anybody? Okay. Well, a beautiful back garden yet to be neglected, but we've got the tree house. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of kid's tea set there. And we've got this back door. So dollars to donuts. This is the home of a girl that whose parents haven't come home. Help! I 
fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Not the time, Lee. Not the time. Now, before I go on, how is the balance between the game sound and the the voice? Is the is the game sound too loud in parts, or is it is it working for you? I can turn it down a little bit if you want, or turn my voice up. Either way. Anybody Somebody. up there? Yell if you can hear me. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. He's certainly not. I'd like to know what's going on with that leg. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Yeah, we've heard that. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Back sliding door it is. Is there anybody here? Right. No, we're going to go this way first. We're announcing ourselves. So we'll either wake up the zombies or not frighten anyone. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Let's try it. Hello. Something going on. All right, we're going to try it. We're going to open it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Shit. Hello. I'd never just walk into a back intruder. door. Or one of them. Of a suburban house in America. I just wouldn't do it. These people may need more help than I do. I suppose he has announced it as much as he possibly can. But this is. Is that fruit rotten? No, it's all good to go. Damn. Oh no. Oh, but the place is. torn apart. What have we got here? Maybe there's something on there. Uber messages on here. Three, Three of them. New messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Okay. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Oh, man, we that's love you. Tragic. The pain in her voice. They went away, left her in good hands. This was so they thought, and they can't Daddy? get hold of her. Huh? Right. That sounded like it was coming through a, a radio or something. Right. One second. Reason being, I just want to drop the audio a touch. Because it's in my ear, it's, it's causing me havoc, because it's quite loud. So let's just see how that works. Okay. We're in here, we're looking, we've got plenty to look at. We've got cupboards. All manner of covers and drawers. Right, let's start here. 
Yeah, he was thirsty, wasn't he? Is that the obligatory matches next to the sink? Looks like jars and cans, the usual things you find in This place cupboards. has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Ah, I didn't think about that. I'm thinking that this girl's been here some time and she's just been living on her own and eating what she can. There, I thought it sounded like a radio. Hello? You need to be quiet. Yeah, I've got to ask her this first, haven't we? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay, so she looks like she's relatively safe in here somehow. But she may have barricaded things. Right, I'm wondering this Where too. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Savannah, where the boats are? Okay. Next on the list. I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. Oh, sh shot. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, Jesus, Sandra. Sandra, you beast. Oh, he's taking one to the Swede. Okay. Kick in the face, that'll do. Oh, this isn't good. Sandra knows exactly what to do. Blunt force trauma to the head. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I want to keep I want to keep going. I want to keep going until it's down to its Man. atomic level. Sandra, you horrible, horrible woman. Did you kill it? Um, yeah, that's not mince words. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. Can't time I remember I that. Okay, that's interesting. Now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark, or get out of here once the sun goes down. I fancy, I fancy the, I fancy doing it in this in the daylight. I don't want to go out at night at all. So it's interesting there. It looks like we've got a bit of time here to have a have a pause and have a break. But it looks like I liked that. She says she will remember that. So what we did, we were honest. We said that we killed her. So maybe she's going to remember that we we don't mince words with her. We're straight. We're direct. We show her the respect she deserves. Maybe that's what she holds on to. Or on the other side of the coin, it may be that um, he's a killer. <laughs> he's a killer. Look for help before it gets dark. I think that's what I'm, what I'm going to go for. Don't know what you guys think. Sun goes down just sounds too scary. I don't want to go through uh, many more of those situations in the dark. You say giggling as I just started this journey. Yeah, 
Let's go for this one. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay we choose the safety of daylight. Damn right we do. Damn straight we do. Okay. We need something for this leg. I think that's the first priority. Um, there's plenty more cupboards in there, wasn't there, that we didn't check? I wonder if there's a few things that we just left. Matches, torches, suitcases, and hat cases. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. They don't look like Reavers. They don't look like... Uh, nasty people. I don't think. I don't think it's got there yet. What's the matter? The bandits. Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, we were oh, oh, we'll start with that one. That was a quick one. Let's that go went quick. Safe that's close. Okay. That's a good idea. I don't know what you think about this move, if it is an option. Subtitles, direct slips, and story notes show reticle buttons. I'm looking for something that says, you know, spend more time on on things, but it's just not there. Have a little bit touch more time to deliberate what you're going to do. That's a bit more interesting than, to me than rushing things, but maybe that increases the intensity of the game and makes the decision making that more finite. I don't know, I like to take my time with things. Everything except sex and chocolate. Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We're looking for help. What's going on? What are you doing? We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm I don't trust that guy. Um, just some guy, a neighbor. A neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming up. You gotta go. Okay, that makes the decision for them, doesn't it? Let's go. Okay, what are we pushing here? Come on, let's go. Shit. That's all you got, that's all she's got. Well done, Clementine. Well done, girl. What are you those guys? Neighbors too? Can't answer that, but it's more than likely. Hey, Aaron Tyler, welcome to the stream. Glad you could catch it for the first time. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. 
My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too, chat. Sean, I'm not so sure. He's got a way about him. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need some help. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's let's, a lifesaver. Let's do that. Matt, he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Quick okay, off the mark, then. she is. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Right, these guys look like preppers. They look like National Rifle, Rifle Association to the hilt. They've got guns in the cutlery Let's drawer. Look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. I think they'll protect them and theirs before anything else. Could be worse. It's not too bad. It hurts, it hurts like, like hell. hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Um, let's just be up front. There's no point lying. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel? Now that's a name in the real Walking Dead. Is How that right? How happen? Um, car, car accident. accident. And so, where were you headed before the car accident? That might have been a mistake. Home? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Um, nobody. nobody. Is that so? Yeah, Time to start lying. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. Oh, got rumbled. Sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Well, we don't trust him. your name, darling? He does not Clem trust us. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking... First thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Um, yeah, let's keep it real. Your son's right, you're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. I'm really regretting that decision. Or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Okay, he's letting it slide for the moment, but we let one go there. We said we, and then we said I. It smells like... Manure. Let's keep it clean for the girl. Manure? Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, 
to hear what have we got. Come on, baby. Hey, get up. Who's that? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Why did you pay dodging or quacking? Well, the parents named their kids Duck. We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Our family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um, yeah. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. So, a few names to remember here. Um, I can't remember all of them. We've got Duck. The you man last night hair. was Herschel. Check in, sure to check in with everyone, so we're going to get to know these people. But Herschel was the name from The Walking Dead. And obviously The Walking Dead was a, a comic book series before, so I wonder which works more closely. The, um, the first series of the episodes, the TV show, or, or this episodic game? Okay, this looks like a, a kind woman. Katya. Hey there, girls. What do you do? How is the city? You two actually look relaxed. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Um, you learned Katya as a veterinarian. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. So, how I was the city? Handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some, just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. So they've seen it all. Yeah, they've seen it all in action. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um... Who wouldn't? Anybody Let's not bring our right own baggage into it. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? <sighs> you okay. two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You learned Clementine is a first grader. Um, 
I've missed something there. My mind wandered to something else. But didn't he say about his job, uh, Lee, then? Didn't he mention what he did? I seem to have missed that. But let's talk to uh, to Clementine and see how she is. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. That's all, that's all she wrote. Okay. What do we got? Seems like those two are getting along. So on the left-hand side here, I've got the radio. Now, I don't know... why that's there constantly. Is that just telling us what our inventory is or something? He seems like an alright dude. Right, so is this Kenny? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? How's, How's Duck? Your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. What's your so plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. What's stuff for blanking on the guy's name in um, The Last of Us Part 2, who... Goes away on his boat for months and months, and then comes back, and because he misses people, and tries to start his own little community in the sewers. What was his name again? I've forgotten. But as soon as he said "boat," there, I just had an image of of when the shit hits the fan, just get on that, get on those high seas, because you know those zombies ain't following. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um, well, we don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. Okay, so I didn't answer we didn't have kids of our own, because I just assumed we didn't. Um, ish. Thank you, Michaela. All right, I'm going to head down here. Hello, Lex Plays. Hello, Swift Gamer. Welcome to the stream. We're playing The Walking Dead here. We found a little safe haven in this farm here. Run by, owned by Herschel. He's got people helping him, setting up perimeter. He's taking in waifs and strays. We kind of let it slip a little bit that we might not be completely genuine. We told he caught us out in a little lie, which is very annoying. But morning has come and people are being friendly. We like Katya, we like Kenny. We're going to go and chat to Duck. Chet and Herschel seem to be prepping their way through life. They seem to know what's up. But Herschel was kind of a bit in denial about what was going on. Sorry, not Chet, this is Sean. Sean is... Um, pretty sure what's going on and he's making sure that they they lock this shit down plywood like that I just don't think it's going to cut it Sean you know how to drive it? sure don't I can give you a hell of a critique of the US farm bill though I'm good okay so Lee keeps his eye on the news he's got his opinions on how the world works Okay. I wonder if Duck's a bit simple or he's just a common or garden ten-year-old or whatever he is. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to 
going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. How are you doing, Duck? Good. Okay. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Well, that just repeats itself, so we've got to remember that, but... For Sean up to... Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Yeah, we may as well offer. We're looking idle at the moment. Our leg, we haven't complained about it, so hopefully it's on the mend. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Thank you, Richard. He was actually a history teacher. I don't know if that's been re yeah, revealed yet. I might have missed that. No. But that makes sense. He has some... I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. Definitely a seems academic. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah, I had to shoot one. Well, we had to shoot, had to shoot two. Shoot I could shoot one, maybe. Or kill two at least. Away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, I'm not too close. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents, my are, in and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Yeah, they need to raid whatever they can to build this hey, fence because it's a big old farm. Again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, okay, I've got a you see my better dad, opinion right? of it now. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, better opinion of him now. He seems genuine. He seems earnest. He seems he wants to help. I just got a, a funny little vibe when he first started talking and when he met his dad. But Herschel seems kind, but he's astute. And he's, he's definitely not sure about us. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today... I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Here we go. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way anyway. I got a ride. I got a, got a ride, ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well... You're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife anymore. My parents are in Macon. Let's my just stick with that. Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um, yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Be honest, I guess. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. I, I think we've been perfectly civil, apart from that one little... Oh! 
I'll get my gun. White lie. Okay, let's get Sean. I don't know why. I chose to save Sean. Kenny's, Kenny's with his and his. Come on, it's a one-ton tractor. He's got no hope. Yeah. Oh, Herschel. stitch you up it almost that was got me man it, Lee tried to save me I know son I, uh... oh man Loss in this world must suck slightly more than any other loss. Because you've got no backup, no support, no governmental help. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Um, it's nobody's fault. Human condition. He did what he you did. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, man. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, he's got some redemption to take care of. He could have thrown Duck into the lettuce patch and helped Lee push that tractor. Sean might have got away with it. Um, I'm not sure how that would change, but what we did do is we helped Sean and we backed up Kenny. Well, this is so we've as got far good favour throughout. And it's far enough. Look. Hey there. You friendly? No, Kenny. Trucks run out of gas. I think this is going to be a regular occurrence like every episode of The Walking Dead. We're going to be meeting. Who's this? shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there and we let them we have kids with us 
I see one little girl. What is it? Where's the boy? I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Um, You're just go. Careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've not, got not kids there. Lee. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Is he? It didn't look like it. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? No idea. It's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart down. Oh, gotta start reasoning with him, haven't we? Calm down. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting right, we need to take charge alive. here. Dad, we get it. It's a big right, let's see if he backs you. down. You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, oh, he needs I'm to focus on her. Here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll hmm. be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Um... Don't let him stop him. Um, Knock this guy out happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh man! Oh God! He got one back straight away. Lights out. <laughs> what happened there? Come on! Come on! Come on! What are we what are we aiming at? Stover's heading with something. Oh god. Let another round off, that'll do. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Clem will remember you protected her. That's the danger, isn't it? A noise attracts them. Get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, Heart attack. Uh, uh, Couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. Um. Was he the one bitten? What's wrong with him? Yeah, it's got a dodgy, dodgy ticker. What's wrong with it? 
It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Right, through the office. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know, we're around town. Yeah, he is pretty insane, but that would be, Man, great. That'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him what? those pills. I've forgotten those names almost immediately. Doug and Carly, and I've forgotten the name of the other two, but it looks like probably we'll be able to talk to them um, like we did in the farm. But that got out of hand fast, and it was all because of his anxiety. He just went, you know... Anxiety produces in most people this need to be angry and lash out and, and protect your ego and all sorts of things. And he just went mental and caused all sorts of problems so he was mouthing off that that, um, that that she was to blame for the gunfire but it could all have been avoided if he just calmed down looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down radio parts is it what we got here Oh, it's a harmonica. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Um, right. Power. Nothing. Gonna be the batteries, isn't it? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Yeah, you would, silly Billy. Batteries. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Um, I quit coffee the other day. It took two days for the headache to go. The third day was fine. I think it might be something else, another ailment. Maybe malnutrition. Maybe just... fear. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Must be everyone's dream to see their boss. Eaten. Five feet away from you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you said that out loud, my dear. Well, if he's heroic, then he's going to be fanciable. Despite... 
perhaps having a touch of the incel about him. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Okay, I didn't catch her name. That was Carly. There it is, bottom left. So, let's first have a look up here. We've got a harmonica. So that is going to gain us favour if we find someone that we think might like a harmonica. But let's examine this corkboard for first. Right, it said Easter egg hunt there, so it's around sort of March, April time. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um Yeah, let's let's uh, come back to you, Doug. Right now. All right, let me know if you want to. We've still got to get into this pharmacy, but I do want to. Definitely do want to. Right, we've got snacks. We've got greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Right, so who's this? The owners of the shop, maybe? I don't know who that was, that zombie was, that was locked in the toilet. Do you know what I'm going to do after... At the moment I'm watching Vikings on, on uh, Amazon Prime. I haven't watched The Walking Dead forever. I fell out of The Walking Dead, the series... Maybe series five? I think there's in the double figures now for the series, right? It, it kept get, getting very, very cyclical. Um, it kept each episode was r running away from the threat and there was a bad guy that needed to be overcome um, until the finale and can't let I, anything happen to Ducky I know, once you'd huh? seen one series you'd seen them all but as we're playing this I've got a real jonesing to start that whole saga again <laughs> as I did get back to Fort Lauderdale when we played God of War I had to watch the Vikings with the element of Norse mythology in there. So to answer your question, hey, KG, how many games are you currently covering? We're covering Assassin's Creed on a Wednesday. Uh, on a Friday night, I do something called a kickback stream, whereby we just chat and chill and talk about anything. We're not focusing on the story, we're just focusing on shooting the shit. Mondays is God of War, and now Tuesdays is The Walking Dead here. We're stuck in this store with people who are very scared and very intent on survival and at the moment we're coexisting but we need to find some drugs some nitroglycerin I think that's what they said for his heart okay Th sort of local curios and keepsakes from the people that own the store maybe or maybe people local to the town S sort of pandering to the community by putting local interest photos up I don't remember them very well why does he say that? Try to get some rest huh? are we, are we in Macon? Things out there. I'm sorry I think I've got the wrong end of the stick is this I thought yes I've got the wrong end of the stick. I, I thought I saw the name Everett then, and then that argument just completely threw me off the scent. But our name is Lee Everett. We've hitched a lit back to Macon, and this is the store. Perhaps the family store. That's perhaps us. I didn't twig straight away, but perhaps that's our parents. Maybe our brother and sister, or maybe maybe that's our brother. But maybe it's just us. It doesn't look too much like us, but maybe lose the goatee and it does. What does he say here again? I don't remember them very well. 
Who's that? The, the grandparents, maybe? Don't remember the grandparents very well? Okay, Katya. That was pretty scary. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Okay. What is What's the plan? The plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They own this place. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Dad. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... Yeah, it did. Um, we're assuming that they're, don't we? But maybe he's just preparing himself by being realistic. Most people are going to be dead in this world. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Yeah, we need to check in with Clem. Well, our family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Yeah, we, we need to be that support it for happens. him, don't we? I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Console. Try to let it go. Okay. Katya, Kenny, and their son, Duck. Not proud of what they've done, they say. But he's right. In a split second, you've got a choice to make um, when the shit hits the fan. And if there's no time to make a choice, whatever the choice you make is the type of person that you can be in that moment. You might not have any stakeholders involved and you just go for, you, you manage to keep a, a clear head and you go for what you think is could use the most help. If you're v really, really scared and it overcomes you, that's the person you are. And you flee, you take fight or flight. But if there's someone important to you, we're conditioned to help, to save. And that's what he did. He wasn't going to let his boy go because he grabbed him from the clutches of a zombie and he's got no idea if there's more around he needs to make sure he looks after that so don't beat yourself up Kenny don't beat yourself up at all is it is it a harmonica or is it just an energy bar? I, I wish we could delve deeper into what we've got. But we can just look. Is that a battery? Yes, we do have a battery. Okay. Let's chat. Well, maybe we'll have a look in here first. Alive inside. Is this a bad idea right now? I can't. I can't think about them in here. It's 
So this is where they hold up. But he's assuming they're dead, but we don't know they're dead. This door leads to the back alley. One second. Still optimizing this levels here. We'll get it right. nothing I need in here. Well, I don't think you should look at a first aid course, a first aid kit in the mouth. You need to take that with you. You never know when you're going to need it. Well, parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. So his assumption of his father, um is that he's a good man, he's heroic, he was the type of man to step in. That's interesting, isn't it? From what we've seen from Lee so far, or maybe that's the decisions we're making, we don't know, he seems to be not fallen far from the tree in that regard. But you just get the impression he's upset his family in some way. And through shame, as this is my thinking, through shame he has not seen them much and it's probably to do with his um, why he was in trouble with the police when he was in that car it looked like he was starting his prison sentence but he could have been being transferred I'm not sure there's a photo over there ah now that's interesting That is an interesting photo. Find anything? Yeah, he, he's got great shame. Great shame. It's a photo of the family who own this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who is sleeping with your wife. This oh, is your parents' oh. store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Um... No. Yes. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. No, we did say we were tied to the place. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah, ooh, snap indeed, Eric. That is... It's kind of a blessing and a curse. We, I just didn't even think about his history of doing something wrong. But Kenny and the family know that we're related to this store. Now this woman knows exactly who we are and what we've done. But she is letting it slide. She doesn't care. Um, all right, I've, I've forgotten what her question was. But let's let's ask how we can trust how her. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Okay. The cat is out of the bag in certain areas of this game. Carly is the name, isn't it? Looks like we're beholden to her. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. 
Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I love their the relationship so far. He's so gentle with her. She definitely trusts him. But did you see that photo? God, I really want to access the photos, but I don't think you can. Um, so the photo had mum and dad in the middle, Lee on the left, and brother on the right. Now, Lee on the left had a white shirt with uh, open, disheveled, the tie not done up tight. But on the right-hand side was brother in doctor's scrubs or nurse's scrubs so I'm wondering where the pride sits where the guilt sits where the shame sits certainly not with his brother it's with this guy he's I think he's always felt like perhaps he's the black sheep and he has felt like he needed to address the affair that um, that was going on between the wife and this guy and I forgot what his job was. Was he a professor? Is that what they said? So, a fellow professor at the university, maybe. You can, you can imagine a situation where perhaps he introduced her to him at a Christmas party or a, or a lecture or something like that, and a relationship blossomed behind their back. And that caused him to definitely kill him. And I think what the policeman was going on, the cop was going on about at the start, he definitely killed her. So he has got blood on his hands. But whether this is the fugitive type storyline, whether it actually wasn't him in the end, is another story. But like the woman says, it doesn't matter anymore. And those skills that you had to take a life are going to count double <laughs> in a world like this. How you doing? Okay. So Glenn's the one that went out, okay. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Um, yeah, let's ask her opinion of, of all the people in this Everyone building. out there seem all right to you? Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Okay. Well, she knows who she's sticking with already. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Right. Keep looking around indeed. Um, we've looked at the bed with blood in it. We've taken the photo. We don't need the medikit apparently. They've locked themselves in. Let's get back out into the main store. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Um, we've got to be honest with her, haven't we? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Okay, I don't know how that's going to stand in the long run. But I figure we just got to keep it real with as many people as hey possible. There. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. 
I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, I'm tempted to keep it real because this guy needs to um, be saved. So I'm hoping we can look at the rest of this when we get back. Because I don't think it's something we need to... Let's just deal with this when we get back. Hey, Carly. Right. You ready to head out? Maybe we'll get something like, are you sure you're done here? Because we might not be, we'll be able to get back here. But I think it's a situation where there's a guy up against it. We've got to go and save him. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like we can tackle things as and when. Get down. College football. I see. Did you see that? Did. Be ready to shoot. So, oh, guys. Oh, there man. he is. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. You can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. She's not impressed with this level of hero heroicism. Okay, what we look at this is giving us an overview of the area, right? God, this looks a bit like a... Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, peek over the wall, left stick up. This looks like a turn-based decision um, arena, doesn't it? XCOM or something. Oh, Peek's too long we've got seen. Oh, I like that. that. Right there, close. I like that. Right, um, I'm not quite sure what we do when we get him. There's um, a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gas. I might have an idea for it. Can't imagine what, except smother it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Um, I have got a clue what you're going to do. All right, let's talk to Glenn. See what he's got to say. Make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Okay. We can hide by that RV, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Right, let's do that slow then. Let's just see what happens. It looks like the guy's got the back to us. So let's just try that. Okay, we don't want to go back there. Let's see what Glenn's got to say. 
Except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Right, he's looking. Um, can we go under? What's he say? Weapons. Hmm, what weapons we got? I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if I had a weapon. I haven't got a clue what to do. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. I think I'm going to go back here and, and take this guy with a pillow. If that's even possible. No, it's not. Shh. Right, let's try again. Right, if we look that way, that's all we've got to do. If we look that way, we're getting got. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. I've not a clue what to do. I don't know what my options are. More than your fists, man. So. I can't choose what we've got here. What else do I need to look at? You're welcome to help me if you can see what's going on here. Because I don't. In the truck. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. I have no idea what to do. Go to the right of the wall. Let's try that. Ah. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, any help? Any backseat gaming is always welcome with me. Um, and I know you're not going to do this anyway, but the only thing that might scupper the situation is spoilers, but you guys know not to do that. But yeah, my ego is such that any help is welcome. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Okay, um... What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Not without tools and making a bunch of noise, so let's... So we've got to make noise, right? So I, I, I chose the pillow there, but that wasn't good enough. Let's have a look at this guy. Something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Right, let's let's pillow this guy right in the face. 
However, that's going to work. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Okay. So, a pillow muffles the sound. Does it, though? Look in here, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Spark plug? Why not? It's a spark thing. Spark plug. <laughs> He's not a man of motors, is he? Right, let's start pushing. What is it? Are we using this as a weapon to pin him? That's interesting. And there's an axe there. That was awesome. <laughs> Those guys are none the wiser. That's brilliant. All right. Well, that guy's not noticing. I think we're okay going there. We don't, want to head, we don't want to head back to the wall at all. Um, spark plug. Do we use that to silently break the window? Is that a thing? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. What? How's that work? <laughs> right, this is very... I'm not sure this is very scientific, but these things are reducing the noise. I don't know... I don't know if that exists in the real world. But I'm suspending disbelief because there's very scary zombies with dribbly teeth. I could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. Scramble a brain indeed. So... We could take out that guy now. Um, looking up here... Let's, let's have a word with these guys, see what they think. We need to find a weapon. Is there anything else in there? No. I think we're done in this corner. Can't move any further. We're done with our pillow. Let's go back round and get this guy. Because he might have something on us, on him. Or we can we can come round here and access it a different way. Let's do let's do that. Carly, Glenn, we, we seem to be leading the charge here. Well... Well, I, I swear I pressed it, but evidently not. Where are you taking me back to, game? Please back to that wall. Well, that, that'll do. I'll, I'll take that. Right. I'm wondering... I'm going to try that again, because I'm not sure I pressed it, but I'm wondering whether this is not the right approach. There we are. No, I just, I just didn't, didn't aim up right. That's what happened. Right. I hope that girl's okay. 
Right, we dealt with that guy. So now, we've just got this guy, but we've got the screwdriver, so we're all good. Right, when, when is good to do this? When is a good moment? Oh, face. Always face. I've dealt with everyone. We've even got ourselves an axe. Right, let's take him out first. Come on. Dude, hmm. where'd you weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Right, I'm wondering whether we should have just taken the axe and left him, but. Yeah, like you say. Why worry about the sausage when we've got the steak? No more. That should help. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We've got a couple of zombies outside a door of a screaming hysterical girl. Just in case this goes to hell. Who doesn't trust okay. anyone? We'll be right behind you. She does not trust anyone. And is she going to be more harm than good in any situation that we're going to get ourselves into? There is heroic and then there is insanity. I think we need to talk to her first and calm her down rather than break through with an axe. Here's Johnny style, because that's not going to help her anxiety, is it? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Why doesn't she want us in. Why doesn't she want help? You might want to break through that board first. Thanks, Glenn. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Good. Oh God! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and come after us? Come with us and get help. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Um... yeah, it's got to give it give to it her, to haven't her. we? What? It's not... You can't be serious. Do it. No! We can't take the risk of her alive, then shoot her, do it, look at her, please give it to her. Now come on, let's try and persuade Carly. But anyway, we're, we're the guy that makes the tough decisions. We're the guy <laughs> that is right in front with the screwdriver or the axe we've got terrible shame in who we are because of what we've done and the, how we've upset our parents but this guy's got moral fibre 
Despite the choices we're making, he's got moral fibre. There's something about him, and I don't think he is the type of guy to kill, do a crime of passion like that, but we'll see. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Need that gun. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Hmm. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, well that was a obviously a difficult decision to make but what's more impressive I just, she she kept mentioning um, biblical references religious references this isn't the reason she's a good person because um, to take you know it's not, not you're not necessarily good if you're religious um, but she made a decision thinking of others she didn't want to turn into one of those things because it was satanic it's not right but she also knew that if she turned into one of, the, one of those things she could affect other people that haven't got that, that have got more chance than she has in life so it's a good person that can make that decision take that life I, it wouldn't be me <laughs> that's for sure i'd fight till i was my last breath to, to make sure we stay alive you know maybe we're ellie and we just don't need to die. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone He's a bit of a dick. Was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Oh, she doesn't like that. So... Perhaps she knows the family. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? Mm -hmm. I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you got was to the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we Did need to you know, know where anybody they here? put those bodies. Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. So what do you think about all of this? Uh, before we carry on here, I'm just interested. How many of you guys, hands up who's played the game? And hands up who uh, are watching this blind with me. Nice little poll uh, to understand whether whether you, you know what's going on or you want to know what's going on. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. 
I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, they know all this. So let's just move on from Never that. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. We've been around there, so we need to think about... Let's grab some food here. It's an energy bar. It is not a harmonica. How are we diddling? Yeah, should we give her a snack? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Took care of her. Of course we did. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay. Now, Glenn. You could probably do the snack as well. What are you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Right, he wasn't hiding anything there, but he didn't want to say about his family. But he did drop a hint that he perhaps would like to come along with us, which I think is a bit presumptuous, to be fair. But it might end up that way. And he looks like he can handle himself in a situation and at least stay cool, so it might be a good shout to get him on board. He was a bit more sort of together than Carly was. Um... We'll Back see. The motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Hmm. Mercy. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, he does look like he could do with a snack. Should we give him one? We've got two left, but do we need to save them? Well, there's another one there. No, well, let's just stop pile them because when people need um, things, we'll know about it. Oh, we're back around here again. Did we get that battery? Is that a battery in our possession? Seems that way. So let's give it to her. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Okay, let's check outside and then we'll go to the pharmaceutical, uh, try and get into the pharmacy cupboard. How we doing? Good. 
Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Duck, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Okay, there's a cage over the front. All right, they can get a bit of fresh air. It's a it's almost like a viewing cage. In Shark Week, isn't it? He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, what are we looking at here? Let's, we can only look. We can try that and open it, but why would we want to? I think that's for later. But we can do a recce, can't we? <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around up. Oh no! Right, is that a gun store? I can't see any sort of signs saying what's what. It's a combination lock. Okay, we don't know that combination, but Glenn does, I think. Look at the one trapped over there. Oh no! That's his brother. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Um, kind of. He could be a drugstore employee, that's what he is. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the ph I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, we've got the photo, so we can show that. It doesn't have our face on there anymore. We cut that off. Probably because of the shame, not the eventualities of what's going to happen, of hiding our identity. But I thought he was a doctor or a nurse, but he's not. He's dressed in a, a medical fashion. But he helped his parents out at the drugstore. So he was he stuck with his family. Lee didn't. Whether that was a bone of contention, we don't know. But that is his brother under there. And when he got trapped... He turned. Maybe before. But it looks like that didn't turn out alright, and he's definitely turned, doesn't he? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay. Well, do we look round again with that regard? Because it... a brick through that window would distract them pretty well. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Did, but it was too yeah. risky. We're going and through that again. We don't need to. They tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see. Don't know if I lost you there for a moment. Let me know what went on there. Says it's all cool now though. But we're back in we're back in the game. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. 
Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Do you think we're safe here? We should search that guy over there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Okay. How... Are we? Can't we can't reach that. Break. But what we can do is find out the lock combination, because if we use... If we use the the axe, then A, we're going to make a hell of a lot of noise, and B, we're not going to be able to lock it again. So I think we need to go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay. We need to find the key. From somewhere. Um... Let's look through here. No, we can't. What happens if we chat to people again with that knowledge? Um, let's start with these guys again. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, is there anything we can see in here for a combination? We have been in here, of course. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? Nope. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And... You don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? You don't have a family? Um, he doesn't want to talk about it, does he? Let's just ask a question with a question. What you Answer a question with a question. My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. I hope not. It's just complicated. Let's try I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. We said about killing someone, she knows that. We could say we're not the bad guy. Let's just say we've got into trouble. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. Let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, 
Let's get this done. Okay, I'm still not vibing with the level of this music. Or able to control the menu system. First aid kit. Let's bleeding? go. A little. All right, you stay there. We know just what to do. We know just what to do. Oh, you forgot about the telly up there. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Um. Right. So yeah. Let's just stick with last one. Get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Do you know what this music reminds me of? In Boston during the um, viewpoint scenes, uh, AC three has a bug. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Yeah, AC3 has a bug whereby this keeps playing and playing and playing a, a, a music track very like this. I don't think they will or I they'll find us. Question. Let's let's keep let's keep the hope alive just for a little they'll, bit. Uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until Right, let's check this drawer. Aha! It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's see what's on. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Is that a euphemism stories, or is that legitimately like soap dramas and things? Or has he got uh, some kind of subscription he didn't want anyone to know about? That's what I figured. Right, let's see what else we got here. Right, we. I think it's a better shout to open that with the axe, but I don't know if that's going to be viable. Definitely don't want to be opening that bloody cage with a with an axe. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Right, let's axe it open. Let's just see. But you know what? Is it going to be a situation where we're going to break the axe? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. <sighs> Ah, where's the stick? Where is the stick? Do you know why? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Because if we have that stick... We can grab that brick outside. I don't know if life works like that. Let's just try the axe. Either he'll say that's not suitable or it'll break. But there's not going to be... <sighs> Let's try it. <coughs> no. The worst we did there was blunt it, so that was okay. Um, should we see if she needs a snack? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't need a snack right now. Okay. 
But I've got the remote control. Um, there'll be batteries in there, right? But we've already given the batteries. All right, let's just do another tour here. Um, yeah, let's give him a snack. It's not much, but here, for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay. Oh, what's this up here? The menu. It's all melted now. <laughs> the ice cream menu, the soda fountains. Um, right, we've done that. We've done the greeting cards. We can't go out there. Um, ooh. Yes, maybe there's more batteries. The office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. All right. Um, hey there. Let's talk to her about our experience, maybe. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get okay. back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Okay, we're going to go back out in a minute, because I'm stuck for things to look for here. Been in there. Oh, she's back. She's all right. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Well, there's an option here to give him a snack. And if I remember rightly, Glenn's the one that put the lock on the door. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. All right, no. Don't need to know anymore. Right, we talked about the radio. Let's look up here. Is there any clues on here? Easter Egg Motel, the IT guy... Free curbside pickup. Nothing too much of note. I think we just need to try the axe, right? Because I can't see anything else going on. We've not had a good look around this central area. Maybe we can come down here. Oh, we can. Not really. What's that there? What is it? That was a battery. At least we can solve one problem. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Oh, is Go it, are we gonna man are we gonna mansplain this radio now to her? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Hmm, nothing. I think she's not put the batteries in the right way. <laughs> that's my that's my thinking. I think she's mixed up her negatives and her positives. And we're gonna have to tell her that. Yeah, you really have. You've got it all wrong. God, let's try that now. As the unknown affliction continues to spread on the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Oh, 
Steve. Well, that's the last news broadcast down. Timely or recorded, we don't know. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Um, really? Everyone's dead. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. Well, that didn't work out. We may... Yeah, that, that was a bit insensitive. We could have been a bit more... A bit more sensitive there. A bit more empathetic. Lee... The only thing I can think, think of trying is this axe. How are we doing? Good. If this doesn't work, I'll need some tips. Because I am clueless after that. Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. I don't know what the um, the remote control is going to do. You know. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. Universal, I think some of the, not that universal. I know. Some of the some of the things we've tried so far, and some of the things they've said do things scientifically. I wouldn't have put it past the game. Okay, it's the only thing we can try. Unless we're missing something. Oh wow! To distract those things. Now we can get the brick. I can't reach that brick. Open her up first. Grab the brick. Throw it in that window. <laughs> Got to be right. That's a strong throw there. Vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. Um but that doesn't seem to have worked. What is the idea? What is the idea? Let's have a look, go back inside. We should search that guy over there. Yeah, we know that. Ah, the universal remote. There's TVs and radios in there. Clever, 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 clever. But surely the glass was enough to get them over, but we're suspending disbelief because this is a puzzle game. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Did he work there or is he? The codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Nice. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Yeah, we've made some noise all over those TVs. God, this is going to be sad for him to get in close to this. 
Keep an eye out, will you? Don't know how he left it with his brother, but you don't want to see anyone close to you in this situation. There's no nothing there anymore. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Shouldn't have left. I mean, you know what I mean. I don't think we need to be caught in this soliloquy of re regret. We just need to do this. Severed the spinal column. Fratricide. Oh, he's going to take his head off, isn't he? That's what she's... Just, just go with blunt force trauma to the head straight away. You don't want to cut off any blood supply. You just want to kill that brain. Have you not seen a zombie movie before? I guess you don't think straight when you're ending the zombie life of a relative. Holy crap! Run! Yeah, yeah, we'll run. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Could do with a bit of Valium as well, I think. Stupid. Stupid. What's she got in her back? She's got a screwdriver in her back. Around shit. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Doc into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help. Please hurry! Okay. Um, where, where, are we, where are we looking at? Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Uh, Jay, thanks. Nice Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. 
Yeah, you know what. It's the walking stick. Oh, cuties. Get that stick. Oh, I need to do it again because I missed it. Okay, yes, thank you. The stick is right in there. Don't. Right, of course, save Doug or save Carly. Um. Oh God, I'm saving Doug. Get off Clementine. Right, take that. Take that ruddy driver, put it in her head. Right, run. Yeah, of course. What? We helped you get better, mate. What the hell? Especially a good friend. We've earned our passage there with Kenny. We made a just tough choice there, and I don't know why I did that. For some reason, I preferred Doug. We've got gas. We've got to move on. There's nothing for us here. Unless, of course, we're thinking that mum and dad are still alive. That is a thought. Why did I choose Doug instead of Carly? What's that say about Doug or Carly? But more importantly, what's that say about me? I saw Carly in trouble. I saw Doug in trouble. For some reason, I went for Doug. And I think it was for a selfish choice. I think I thought to myself, Doug looks like the one that's more together. Doug looks like the one that can help us. Even though that Carly can use a gun, she looked... She, to me, she was more unstable. She was upset and uh, and hiding it about her her friends in the station. She more than once uh, tried to back away from difficult decisions. Yet Doug seemed to be more together. So I think that's why I went for him. Right, we've got the photo still. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it later. You never pay attention to the way we think. 
Yeah, Richard Lara, I think you might be right. Spent a bit more time with Doug, solved a bit more puzzles, um, had a state of cooperation together. Um, whether, whereas with um, with Carly, there was a, there was sometimes a state of opposition, and we upset her, didn't we? Um, so maybe it was my own shame for upsetting her. I don't know. So Glenn's got a sense of duty here to go back to Atlanta and find his friends who live there. I don't know if to go back, but he knows people there and he wants to help. Um, he didn't. He he dodged the question about family earlier. He's a pizza guy in a local town. I don't know whether he's doing that because he's a student or whatever, or that's his sort of current career. I'm not sure. But his sense of purpose now extends to helping his friends rather than his immediate surroundings. So we can't tell him it's wrong because we don't know what goes inside other people's brains and the whys and the wherefores. So we're not going to say yes. We're not going to say no. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. So, so says uh, this should be interesting for him uh, um, because uh, you've never actually seen a playthrough where Doug gets saved. Okay, well, glad I could uh, glad I could offer variety here for you. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Okay, I don't know quite what's happening here. People are going their separate ways, which is fine. But I'm wondering, Glenn just left. We're not going to see Glenn again, are we? Um, but I'm wondering, is that decision based on the fact that he saw us hand the gun over? Because he wasn't happy about that. And is that sort of made his decision like that he wants to leave and not stick with us? I don't know. But here's the man we saved, anyway. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. Um, I'm sorry. We are sorry. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, I kind of wish we said what we liked her, too. I liked her too. I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. It looked like you needed help. I was going to help you both. I'm lying I here. Sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. That's a, that's a, a fair reaction, Doug. Survivor's guilt. That's a fair reaction. But you've got to deal with it, mate. Because we, uh, we're dealing with those difficult decisions, so you've got to deal with that. I know you liked her, and maybe you loved her, but she liked you too. Oh, and she was about Check to say out. it. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, Prick. pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. 
I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So it can't help us. So? It can't really help us. But I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine. I really hope he's going to apologize, but I very much doubt it. Like my daughter? Uh, she's fine. No, let's do this one. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. Oh, I see. So will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Well, hey, it's an understandable attitude then. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. What <laughs> speed too soon? Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Ah! 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 You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! <laughs> no more! Please! No more, please! <laughs> Episode 2, Starved for Help. Starved for Help. Well, I certainly starved for help from Larry. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. Honesty. You and 54% of players were honest. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? Pretty down the middle. So I sided with Kenny, 54%, gave Irene the gun, showed mercy there. And 51% of the people showed Doug, so that's interesting. So I was a slight in a slight majority there. A slight minority with the gun. An overwhelming, well, a majority with Kenny and with Herschel. And a minority... In choosing Sean. But Sean still died. That was really, really good. I really loved that. 
So going on to this next episode too, we're seeing we're seeing as much jeopardy with the human survivors as we are with the the zombies, and difficult decisions to make all the time. And that's just like any zombie film we've ever ever or TV show or game we've ever seen. But that was excellent. I really loved that. I love Lee as a character. I love his. Um, his ambiguity in certain areas. We're being drip fed the fact that he killed his wife. And do you know what? If any happy ending's worth his soul, we're going to find out that perhaps it's not as cut and dried as that. Um, but regardless of that, even if he did kill his wife and his wife's lover, I like him. <laughs> even the decisions, the, the slightly poor decisions we make in the in the retorts or the... Um, or we lose our temper, or we choose violence. He's his core of a character. Whatever decision we make is one of of loyalty, is one of um, seeking redemption, and I'm loving that. Absolutely loving that. Um, I was going to I was going to do this stream for three hours. We're ten minutes off that. I don't think it's worth starting the next episode for the state of 10 minutes so we won't do that what we'll do is we'll do this again next week we'll go on to episode two it looks like we can smash into to one within within three hours so if we do that and we'll take our time over over each episode get to know the characters really well um and yeah discovering this game for the first time is a real real treat for me Thank you so much, Michaela H, a patron, who suggested we do this. I've put it up for a vote, a vote on Patreon with that and you know, five or six other similar games in that vein. I'm talking Heavy Rain. I'm th- talking Until Dawn. Um, what else did I put up there? A Wolf Among Us. Um, what was the other one? Can't remember. The one about the the young girl with the powers in the in the high school. I really want to play that one as well. <laughs> anyway, that one didn't didn't win or come anywhere near. But yeah, patrons chose this one, so thanks so much for for choosing that. Um, if any of you are interested in supporting me, you can do so on pa- on Patreon, and you can get a vote for these things. But also, and more importantly, you can get my videos on the Patient Wolf channel two weeks before anyone else. Um, and um, that might work for you. Anyway, thanks so much for turning up. It's been an absolute treat on the stream. Next stream is on Friday, and that's the kickback stream with me. We're just going to play random game, doesn't matter what it is, and just hang out and try and earn some trophies and just chill. It's, it'll be a Friday, getting ready for the weekend. So a few hours of that with me on Friday night in the UK. Thanks very much for turning up here, everyone. Nathaniel, Richard Lara, Sal Anast, JB. I think you're another patron, aren't you, JB? Harry. Um, yeah, life is strange there. Harry, very therapy to watch you. He loved every minute of this and all the others. Well, thank you so much. Beyond to- Two Souls would be good. Yeah, okay. I'll add that to the to the list. Yeah, let me know any other games you'd like to see. Yeah, Life is Strange, JB. That's the one I want to see. Yeah, thanks ever so much, everyone. See you on the next one.